Okay, we've got a couple of 2024 Tacomas. Looks like both are SR5s. Matter of fact, I think they're identical. This has no spray-in liner, you can see here. So there's no liner in here. Just the uh, regular composite bed and of course, no cubbies. And that is comparing it to one with a liner. So you can kind of see the difference here between the, uh, I guess the liner and the non-liner truck. Both do have the rails in them and both do not have sliding rear windows of any kind. They look identical otherwise. I think they have the same wheels and tires. They do. Side steps looks like probably on both. Of course they're black. There's the SR5. There's me, by the way. Uh, taking a peek inside. I'm sure it's probably locked. No, it's not locked. Awesome. Um, you can kind of check out the inside as compared to mine, I guess. It's really pretty similar, I think. Um, doesn't seem to have any additional or deleted options over here, I don't think, as far as added things. And then the dreaded auto stop is still there. Otherwise, the radio screen, the setup, seats, I think, are a little bit different. They're more of this gray color, I guess. We even have a sticker in here. Let's take a look at this. This thing is uh, 41747. You can see there. And there's a list of uh, options. It has the blackout package, carpeted floor mats, connectivity kit, dash cam, um, some cleaner stuff and steps, of course. That's what gets us to 41747. Now, the base price without the added stuff, I guess, looks like 37,330. Uh, so not so bad until you add the other stuff into it, I suppose get that back up there where it was there's the dash cam up there which it seems to be pretty standard right now on the Tacomas I don't know doors are the same it looks like to me I do like the way they do these doors with the kind of embossed handles and stuff and the way they treat the speaker covers and things now down here and as well up here they match of course no grab handle over here but we have that little mini one over there now, I see an additional sticker up there on the windshield, so let's see what else we've got. Here's the paint protection. I don't know if you guys can see the difference there, but it does have paint protection on it. And then up here is stuff they've added. So the price of this truck is $46,342, and that's because they've added, let's see, it looks like Premier ceramic exterior and interior protection, paint protection, expel tent, the all weather mats, and flex protect. Now, they say this has a tent, and I guess it does. It's kind of hard to see, but I think there is a tent on that one. Now, this one, let's see, I don't see a sticker in there. Interior wise, uh, looks about exactly the same. So I think these are pretty much identical trucks. Let's check that added sticker over there. This one does have the paint protection on here as well. Let's check this sticker. This one is 45067. This one has the same kind of stuff, ceramic uh, and interior protection, paint protection film, expel tent, all weather mats, and flex protect. So 45067 on this one. And I am curious to see if it has the all weather floor mats in it already. And it does not. So it's, of course it's gonna come with the uh, carpeted mats. Let's take a look at the sticker on this one. It was 38,825 plus the options. And this one has the blackout package, connectivity kit, carpeted floor mats, dash cam, and the vehicle protection package. So that is before they add the stuff up there on that special window sticker. Go ahead and get that back. Let's check the back. I wonder if the floor mats are back there. 
No, I thought maybe this packaging was the floor mats, but it looks like it's just uh, extra stuff. What's in this bag? The cleats. So it does come with bed cleats, that's good. If you're not familiar with these, these go in the rails in the back so that you can tie stuff down, of course. And this one has the same interior. The one thing I wish they would have done is put some sort of an inserted cup holder in here or armrest you could pull down and uh, be able to rest your arms and stuff on it. That would be nice. Now, as far as the headrests, they should, they do. They still fold down and you can see it's pretty easy to do. I was able to do it with one hand. So I like that. As far as behind the seats, should be the same as what I have. You've got the jack back there and the tools or whatever to change the tires. That's cool. And then real quick, let's look under the seat. Again, it has this strap on here. This is how you hold the seats up now. You pull the seats up and then it fastens right here. It actually buttons down. I'm not sure how well that holds. We'll find out. I need to do more testing on that on my truck, I guess. Under here, of course, you have some storage. This might be a little different than mine. I don't know if I have this textured kind of material. I think mine is plastic. This seems like that kind of fiber, almost fiber cloth kind of stuff. I'm not exactly sure. Let's run around real quick. I want to check the other side. Move that stuff out of the way. Because I'm curious to see if... Uh, anything's different on the other side since it appears to be a little bit different on uh, than mine on the passenger rear so let's take a look don't want to slam the door into the other truck that's for sure let's take a look in here yeah still has that same kind of fiberish like cloth i don't know what this is material um but space wise and all that you still have the same again the difference is uh, you don't really have any way to lock anything up down here. So yeah, if that concerns you, I'm sure there'll be aftermarket products come out that actually go over this where you can lock it down, but nothing at the moment. Anyway, we are uh, at the dealership right now. This is Toyota of Far. So if you're looking for a Toyota Tacoma, this is the place to come. There's the dealership behind me there. They do have uh, two 2024s at least in stock here. I don't know if they're uh, sold at all or not, but uh, pretty cool. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these two SR5s, the first I've seen in the new 2024. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.